Shalom es puka. Uh, it's falling. It's falling. Of course, we see here what's falling. When you see the title, it's falling, it's falling, you know what it is. You know what scripture says. The U.S. here is falling off the cliff and it's falling quickly. We know exactly what the scripture means and we see the collapse that's coming. Most people see it and most people don't understand and don't know what to do concerning this collapse. And here it's asking the question, is America's collapse inevitable? Of course, there's no stopping. Why? The prophets have already prophesied of this falling. Let's see this prophecy. Isaiah 21 and 9. And look, here comes a chariot of men with a pair of horsemen. Then he answered and said, Babylon is falling, is falling. This is a slow process. When it says it's fallen, it's fallen, it's a huge empire and it's falling very slowly. So slow you can't even see it falling. If you've ever seen a tall building fall, it doesn't look like it's falling. It looks like it's in slow motion. And all the carved images of her mighty ones, he has broken to the ground. All of those images, all those um those statues of those mighty ones, he's going to break them to the ground. The place have to be broken. The place have to, be, it's going to be a place of evil, foul, wicked spirits. Revelation 18 and 2, and he cried mightily with a loud voice saying, Babylon the great, it's falling, it's falling. We're seeing this echoing. This is nothing but an echo from the scriptures. Uh, there's some things going on in Revelation that, that um how can i say this it's not lining up things are not lining up with the prophets as it should and i'm gonna bring some of that out later and has become a dwelling place here it is this place it will become a dwelling place once again it's a dwelling place and it's not everywhere it's a dwelling place of demons a prison every foul spirit in a cage of every unclean and hated bird. We see here the same echo of it's falling, it's falling. We see here this will be a dwelling place for demons and evil spirits. It's foul and wicked. Now let's go into what 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 happened? What what made this collapse? Is this a surprise? No, it's been written thousands of years ago. This is, look at this, the Simpsons. You know how the Simpsons are known to predict future events before it happened. This is how they operate. This is how they work. The Simpsons predicted President Trump 16 years ago. They predicted he would be president. And also it came with a warning. And that this warning was that he would break or bankrupt the country. And this is where we at. This is what we're seeing. And we know the things that he, he's doing. Right now, tariff tax on, on trade. And the other countries, the other nations, they are, they are very, very upset. They are, and this is what scripture says. They're going to get upset at her and they're going to turn on her. If anyone can do this, they put the right person in place to do this. Someone that's not presidential, someone that's an actor and a very good actor. He played in, in many, many, uh, he played in many, many TV programs. WWE, he was great. If you haven't seen him in WWE, man, he was great. They didn't have to prime him. He already knew how to do it. And he's sitting, he's always throwing up this 666. You know, for the life of me, those people that say they are woke. They know what's going on. Trump is our man. Trump is the man. Trump is for us. Trump is this. Trump is that. But they never mention him throwing up these 666 hand signs. He's throwing all these hand signs he's doing. No one wants to make mention of this uh, much. And here our people go with these hand signs, with these Mason hand signs. They're doing, they're teaching, doing videos, putting up these hand signs. Listen, they're showing you their allegiance too. They are showing you. They know these hand signs. And I hear them. People talk about my hand signs. I'm throwing up Mason signs. 
they know what they're doing. And what they're saying, I don't really know what I'm doing with my hands. I don't know these signs. I don't know what signs they're talking about. They know all the signs. We know the hand signs. They, they want to, you see, they think that people are so docile, we can't see past them. But most of them are. Most of them, because they the ones that brainwash them. And they become docile. They don't even understand when they have a teacher throwing up Mason signs right in front of them. This is a huge, huge problem. But the right is not falling for this mess. You are part of the problem. You are the wicked. You are rebelling against the Most High. You become a rebel. All right, look at what the Pentagon says. This is a Pentagon study. The U.S. Empire is fraying and collapsing. In other words, it's falling. It's falling. This is what it's saying. It's fraying and it's collapsing. They're telling you what's coming. They're telling you the collapse is coming. They knew this when they built this empire. They had a plan and they went according to the plan. And this is, it's known. Look at this guy. How is it? How is it the U.S. is sending the president of, of Israel, the, the, the prime minister of Israel, all of this money? And the Christians back him. And look what he said. Look at his statement. Once we squeeze all we can out of the United States, it can dry up and blow away. Why won't these Christians that's backing them, why won't they bring them out, bring this out? They're saying, this is the chosen one? These are the chosen? They're going to squeeze all they can out of America. All the money, you know, more money. There's not another country that they send more money to in America than no other than the Jewish state of Israel. And this money that they're sending over there, they don't need that much money. But they're, this is what he's doing. He's squeezing all he can out of the United States. Every president that came through was had his back, gave him money. Every president, not one skipped a beat. They know what they're doing. But do the people understand he made this statement? And you still backing this? And they said people are sleeping. You know, it's something, a man drunk, a man sleep and saying someone else is drunk and sleep. And he's sleeping drunk himself. The petrodollar. Okay, this is, this is it. <clears throat> when this right here become no more, this is the fall. This is the fall. This is the collapse. There's nothing, no turning back. And right now, China and Saudi Arabia is making a deal to sell oil in the Chinese one. Now, th this is huge. No more selling it in the dollar. This is, this is, th this is as big as it get. And you can hang it up. You can close shop. It's a, it's a wrap. It is a wrap. And all the signs are pointing to this collapse that they've been talking about. This collapse. That's been, it's been, they put it in our subconscious that it's coming. And the people, it's so slow, the people are beginning to think, this is, it's not going to happen. We're still going down the street. And they've been saying it, we're kicking the can down the street. How how much longer, how many, how many uh, um, cans are they going to kick down the street? How much longer are they going to continue kicking the can down the street? But this petrol dollar, once they trade, and they, they made the deal, the deal is done. Now it's they're in a process of changing over, and the countries are not going to use the dollar to buy oil. They're going to be using the Chinese one. And yes, according to scripture, China will be the next superpower. They will have a quick rise and a quick fall. Billionaire tells Americans to prepare for financial ruin. They're saying prepare for financial ruin. And you see here Donald Trump who painted a very ugly picture where the country is headed. He said the United States is no longer a rich country. You see, they telling us. Says you're not rich when you have to go out and borrow. They've been borrowing money and they're borrowing so much that it's impossible for them to pay it back. This is why this collapse is inevitable. There is no stopping this collapse. It will happen. It was written according 
to the prophets, the Most High spoke it. It came out of his mouth that this collapse would happen. This is the U.S. debt clock. If you don't watch the U.S. debt clock, I don't know. You have to check out this debt clock from time to time. And it's ticking away no matter who the president is in office. And this, of course, is unsustainable. It's up to $20 trillion. There's a video that you can look at on YouTube that will show you how much money is a million dollars and how much money is a trillion dollars. And it is unbelievable. We, we can't imagine how much money is a trillion dollars. So this video, it breaks it down and it will show you what a trillion dollars is. A million dollars can fit in a backpack, but a tr one trillion dollars, unbelievable how much cash, how much cash that is. And this debt clock, it ticks continuously and it's going up and up no matter what president has been in office. And nothing will change. It will tick even faster while Trump is in office because we have a madman in the office of the, of the president. They sit in a madman to bring it down. This ultimately ends up with Isaiah 47, 1 through 5. The humiliation. You talking humiliation? You talking, they're going to, and it's all done by design. Those that know what's coming, the, the elite, they will be a part of bringing it down. They won't be there when it go down. They built their empire. They built their military complex. This is what they, to conquer the world, they've done that. They did everything they want to do, and now they are finished. And when they're finished, they're ready to get rid of baggage. They, they picked up baggage along. Who's the baggage? Of course, the people. You know, the people become the baggage. And they're ready to get rid of the baggage. No more. No more of giving out free money. No more welfare. No more free rides. No more. Just get rid of them. Just get rid of them. And they pull out their money. And they take their money and they stash it elsewhere. And the people don't see what's coming. Isaiah 47, 1 through 5, come sit, come, come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. She's a virgin. War has never touched her. Only been infighting. That's not real war. Sit on the ground without a throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for you shall no more be called tender and delicate. Take the milestones and grind meal. Remove your veil. This is going to be an embarrassment. And this is what she will become, an embarrassment. It says, remove your veil. Take off, you know, whores wear the veils. They don't want nobody to see them selling their bodies. Take off your veil. Take off your skirt. Uncover your thigh. Pass through the, war the rivers. Your nakedness shall be uncovered. Yes, the nakedness shall be uncovered. Shame. Yes, your shame will be seen. The rest of the nation... They will see the shame, and I will take vengeance. He's going to take vengeance on this place, and I will not arbitrate with a man. As for our Redeemer, Yahuwah, holding his name, the Kadash one of Yahshua, sit in silence and go into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for you shall no longer be called the Lady of Kingdoms. She set prideful. She was known as the Lady of Kingdoms. King of Kingdoms. On top of that, I shown that that capital. Uh, on top of the capital, there she sits with her hand on her sword, ready for battle. They have the the, the statue in in the harbor of New York. There she sits, a lady, proud, a lady being represented here. This is exactly what the scripture is saying: a lady being represented, a lady uh, uncovering her skirt. Ladies wear skirts. Veil. Ladies put veils over their face to cover what they're doing. Of course, we see this falling. Make sure you know the scriptures. Know what's concerning because there is a mystery to come. There is a mystery that will happen. If you don't understand the mystery, you will get caught up in this fall. You will go down with, with her in the fall. And the Most High does not want his people to go down with the fall. It's falling. We see it. It's falling. It's falling. Babylon is falling. 
Shalom.